Hello, welcome back to Line It's Wednesdays, where we look at Lion's Tips and Tricks on a Wednesday. In this week's video, we're going to look at playing some fun games in the Linux terminal. So if we open up our terminal, and I'll make it a bit bigger. See, it's a bit easier to read. And we do a sudo, which is super easy to do. apt-get install and bsd games. And press return. It's going to ask us for our password. And it's already installed it on mine. And it is still a package called BSD Games. So let's clear the screen. And let's play some of the games. We do Adventure. Welcome to Adventure. Would you like instructions? Nope, because it's probably very simple. Uh, it's one of these text based adventures you used to get in the 80s. If you remember them, you're standing at the end of a road before a small brick building. Around you is a forest, a small stream flows out of the building and down a gully, so you can go like north and so on. You are in an open forest with a deep valley on one side. Now, I don't want to go down deep valley because I'll probably end up killing myself. But yeah, it's one of these text based adventures, something you can do in Linux Terminal. Now, to quit the game, just press Ctrl C. It says, Do you really want to quit now? And I say, Yes. It says, You scored 32, Apostle 300. And 50 using two turn uh, using two turns. Your rank is amateur. Let's just a quick go at that game. We can do a battle star, which is another like text text based adventure. First adventure game written by his lordship, the Honourable Admiral D W Ringle. Good on you, D W Ringle. Again, it's a text based adventure. You're in luxury stateroom, floor captain, and so on. You know what to do. North, South, East, West, take stuff. And it's a text-based adventure from uh, about 1984. So, yeah, not bad. We can press Control c and It tells me now, by your rank was novice. Let's clear the screen. And we can do Hangman. Say N-G-M-A-N. And you can see there we've got Hangman. So we're going to do a E. I. Oh, no, there's no I. Let's try U. No, let's try A. Okay, I'm not sure what the word this is going to be. That's no C. Let's try T. No. Let's try a G. Oh, there's no G. Let's try an L. L A something O something E something. Already guessed T. M. No. D. No. Oh, layover. L A Y over E R. Another word. We're going to say no. And go back to our terminal so if we clear the screen again now this one is called morse type in morse and nothing happens so now what we need to do is type in some words so you can type in hello and it converts the letters to dits so h is four di dots an e is one dot an l is dot dash dot dot or da door dit dit door dit 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 door dit dit and then uh, dash 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 is the zero um, letter O. You can type anything you want in there and it should convert it to Morse code. Show me I've got no output with that because that would be quite interesting then. Like no audio output. Let's try um, 2E0 IQJ. And there we go. It's converted it. Dit dit da da da. Dit da 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 da. Dit dit, which is I, Q, da 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 da, and dit da da da. You can do it, C, Q, C, Q. Dit da, da dit, uh, da dit, da dit, C, da da dit da. You know how to do C, Q, and more, so we can do Control C to quit. Let's clear the screen. And we've got um, another game called Tetris dash BSD. Which is a tunnel based version of Tetris. K is rotate and L and J is left and right. So put that one there. And spacebar will drop. Oh, we got Tetris in the terminal. Nice. So we're going to get, get a line. Ah. Oh. Steady pace to give us. A 
again, another silly pace to give us. And another stupid silly pace. I want to get a line. Ah, oh, I'm not going to get a line now. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, you've got a line. And Q is quit. And you can press return to see the high scores. And it says my high score was 170. So we clear the screen. And one more game we can play. If we do a sudo app dash get install nin faders. Again, this won't install on mine because I've already got it installed. If we clear the screen and we can type in nin faders, which is a Space Invaders clone from the 1980s spacebar to start. And you can use left and right on the arrow keys and then spacebar to shoot. Look at that. We're playing uh, Space Invaders in the terminal. Look at that. The graphics on this thing. It'd be nice to get this terminal controlling via the Amstrad notepad. I can play this on the Amstrad notepad then. But yeah, there we go. We've got a game of Space Invaders installed in the terminal. We're ready to play it. I was a look at a few games you can play in the Linux terminal. If you found the video of some use, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other one seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching Linux Wednesdays. Catch you in the next video.